okay so following my interaction with you guys in the comment section of my channel i found that some of you are finding it hard to deal with crd you are dealing with crd on your farm and you want to know how to treat crd chronic respiratory disease so in this video in today's video i'm going to be telling you exactly how you can handle it and i tell you it's tricky there's something you don't want to do ever on your farm and i'm going to show you every bit of it in today's video so stay tuned all right welcome back to DIY Hagri your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner so some people call it cough some call it sneezing some call it CRD some call it mycoplasmosis some call it um, whatever you call it what's important is that is a respiratory disease uh, and it can kill your birds. It's capable of killing your chickens, whether it's broilers, whether it's no, noilers, whether it's layers, whether it's turkey, it is capable of killing your chickens. So you want to know exactly how to treat it, how to handle it on your farm. And here are some of the signs that are indicative of CRD or mycoplasmosis. You see cough, which is what most of you are familiar with. You see cough, you see sneezing, you just see those, the birds are like Tch! So you see that sneezing and you see railings, it's like they are gasping for breath. You can hear them breathing. <laughs> so all those are signs that you can see. You can also see swelling around the eyes, the, that is sinusitis. The sinuses are swollen. So that's another sign you can also see lacrimation that is you see like fluid clear fluid coming out of the lacrimal gland of the high so these are common signs that tell you okay this bird is uh, most likely affected with chronic respiratory disease or caused by my mycoplasma galicepticum and this prompts you to swing into action and get something to remedy it but before you even think about handling something, before you think about treating something on your farm, you want to know what is the cause? Why does it happen? If you know that, if you are, if you are familiar with the cause of something, then you are able to prevent it and also treat it effectively. So, mycoplasmosis is caused by mycoplasma galicepticum. Forget about the terminology I'm using. It's just the simple thing that you often see. That cough, that sneezing, that railing, that the bed is just gasping for here. Most times it is CRD, it is chronic respiratory disease. And technically I'll call it mycoplasmosis. It is mycoplasma disease and it can be handled with the use of antibiotics. Yes, if you use uh, the right antibiotics, you are able to handle it. But there's something that is very key to the treatment of mycoplasma. It doesn't leave your flock. Once it gets into the flock, it doesn't leave. Yes, it doesn't leave. You may be surprised. You may say, ah, of course, I've treated CRD before and it left. Yes, it is very, very possible. But then it doesn't leave the flock. Technically, it's still there. You just suppressed it. Whatever antibiotics you used will only suppress it, but it still leaves a trace. The bed becomes a carrier of mycoplasma forever throughout life. And this disease is also transferred from the parent stock to the eggs. This is where it gets really tricky and you really want to listen to me here. Yeah. This is why, uh, like I said in one previous video, almost every chicken, almost in quote now, almost every chicken that you get from the archery has a trace of mycoplasma. Yes, has a trace of mycoplasma yes at least in nigeria and this is why the issue of standard is very important you see nowadays uh, almost anybody can just wake up and say they want to have a breeder stock okay <laughs> the parent stock probably some did sometime they came down with mycoplasmosis and they are treated they still have mycoplasma in their system and it is passed into the eggs so even though the parents the birds uh, may not be showing symptoms yes they still carry the mycoplasma and they are able to trans it is 
possible to transfer it vertically that is from the parent to the offspring through the eggs so it is very very possible that as you are getting the chicks on your farm they already have mycoplasma and one very key thing is that stress often triggers mycoplasmosis it triggers the symptoms it makes it come up as um the cough and all that that you see on your farm once your chickens are exposed to stress it may be the dust in the environment it may be anything and eat stress and all that they they can come up with crd because most possibly it is already there in their system it is already there in their system but then one other thing you want to take note in the treatment of um mycoplasma is that because diseases like mycoplasmosis diseases like this kind of cough that we talk about this crd we talk about these diseases cannot be eradicated within a flock that has already been infected you want to be careful in the tactics that you use in treating if you know that your enemy is dynamic your enemy can change your enemy can evolve then you do certainly don't want to come to your enemy with your best shots yes not the first time so i see a lot of people going and looking for the strongest antibiotics on earth once they see a trace of crd or any bacterial disease as such but that is a very very bad practice it's a very very bad practice it's not about suppressing the disease at that one time it's about your farm wellness yes because if you are able to suppress the disease with the strongest antibiotics you can find what happens if this disease resurfaces and the bacteria has evolved has changed and has built resistance to that um, strong antibiotics so what i advise with any new flock especially when you are doing broiler farming with any new flock that you have you don't come out with your best shot yes uh, you start with mild antibiotics that are still able to have a good history of being able to suppress mycoplasmosis suppress cough the crd and um, you come up with that you use it i tell you most of the time it is effective and maybe later in life the disease now resurfaces maybe there's another kind of stress that comes up and the disease the disease resurfaces then you can upgrade you can the the antibiotics are actually in levels and with the treatment of mycoplasmosis for example this crd we are talking about i found that tylosin is very effective in treating it tylosin is highly effective in the treatment of crd and also tetracycline uh, tetracycline is also effective in the treatment but um for example now if we take tylosine there are drugs that have just 20 percent tylosine in them i think tylodox does uh tylodox should have 20 percent tylosine and there are drugs that have <laughs> up to 100 percent tylosine so the effectiveness of this drug in treating in managing crd is also according is mostly according to this uh level of tylosine that they have in them so you don't want to come to your one week old or two weeks old broilers having crd and just eat them with 100 percent tylosine no no way what happens if that if the disease comes up later in four weeks what happens so you want to you want to play a smart game that every batch of broilers every batch of uh, layers whatever beds whatever poultry bed you have every batch you have you don't just come the first time or you are seeing the sign of the disease you don't just come with the strongest antibiotics that you can lay your hands on first thing i will also be sharing the organic remedy for crd for chronic respiratory disease for cough for all these things that i just talked about i'll be sharing the organic recipe how you can produce it by yourself and i tell you this works this works it works all the time if you are yet to subscribe to the channel you will want to subscribe right away and also click the notification bell beside the subscribe button so that you can be the first to see my new uploads yeah please know that um this video is 
for the sake of knowledge um, i'm not talking as a veterinary doctor i'm an animal scientist and um, these things i'm telling you are based on the knowledge that i have and the things i've been using that work for me so you should still consult your veterinary doctor if you have issues on your farm if you have a major investment you don't want to joke with things so you want to work with your vet